Um, I'd like to thank everyone for turning out today. It's a pretty uh, miserable old day and to be able to turn out in such great numbers basically represents the passion that people feel for this very important issue. I'd like to thank the organisers of the rally and the previous speakers. I'd like to recognise that this struggle has gone on for eight long years. And it's not an anniversary that I'd like to be celebrating. I'd like to be going to an anniversary party tonight for my gay and lesbian friends who'd be celebrating their eighth wedding anniversary. I'd like to also recognise those in this community who have continued to fight for, these, uh, for rights in the LGBTI community, not just for eight years, but for decades. And those people have achieved extraordinary victories for our society and we should recognise those people who have given up so much in order to equalise rights in our society. This is a union issue. It will be continued to fight for and fought for by unionists and by trade unions such as the MUA until we achieve this inevitable victory. It's nearly 40 years. 40 years next year will be the anniversary when the BLF, the Builders Labourers Federation, sorry, um, the BLF introduced pink bands in the Victorian University in order to basically protest against the gay activist who was shot out of the university. So we have seen what the trade union movement has been able to achieve when we involve ourselves in this incredibly important struggle. We are behind 11 countries. We should be um, ashamed of ourselves as Australians, the fact that we are um, not in the first 11 countries to introduce equal rights around equal marriage. How is it that a country like ours that was one of the first in the world to introduce the right to vote for women, it will be one of the last potentially to introduce equal marriage rights? As inevitable as the victory around women having the right to vote was, so will the right to marry those we choose to love. The only way will forever stand with people who fight for justice, and against inequality. We are sick to death of this institutionalised discrimination that continues to have negative consequences in our community. How can we allow young people to be in their bedrooms committing suicide or self-harming because they don't have equal rights? It is a disgrace that anyone should feel in a position where their only way out of a crisis is to kill themselves. These laws need to be changed, they will be changed and will continue to fight until they are. This is MUA national policy. It's not just a policy that we're trying to enact in our industrial agreements, it's also our national policy to fight for marriage equality. We will continue to fight against homophobia and hypocrisy. We have seen Tony Abbott running around the joint talking about individual rights yet denying individuals the right to marry. His hypocrisy is sickening, but it's wholly unsurprising. He's, you know, the, the call for a conscience vote amongst the Liberal Party, I find quite ironic. How do you give a conscience, a conscience vote to people without one? They've continued to demonstrate that they have no social...